Welcome back to the Oneonta Movie Show. I'm Jacob. And I'm Colin. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some Watchmen, some Breaking Bad, some Batman. So let's get started. Hey. Hey. So, Colin, happy Daylight Savings Time. It feels like 9 o'clock, but it's not even 7 o'clock yet. It's a good time. It's, it's a, a great good time. time to be alive. Um, so we have the new Watchmen television show on HBO, Damon Lindelof. Yeah. Uh, I've been pretty excited for this one. Yeah. Yeah. I have not. No. Um, I like the movie well enough. No, I like the movie. I really do like the movie. I hate Zack Snyder. I hate all of his movies. But I like Watchmen. But I didn't read the comic. I, I did read the comic. I'm more so a fan of the comic. Okay. Um, and this is a direct sequel to the comic, so... It's got a few things that are different yeah, from the movie. Yeah, like I, I, I got like the main plot of the, like I get where like the, the I think the movie from what I know about the comic is that it gets very like it generalizes the comic a lot. Yeah. Um, so in that respect with the show, I'm getting like sixty percent of it, and then there's a lot of stuff that they're referencing. I'm just like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing yeah. it. Yeah. There was one that I immediately saw, and I was like, oh, this is gonna confuse. The crap well, the, out of people. The, the it raining was squids. The raining squids. It was the raining squids. It was raining squids. And <laughs> I just want to take a quick aside for anyone who didn't know when it rained squids. That was because originally in the comics, Ozymandias made a giant squid. telepathic squid, squid monster. monster. Yeah. Basically, the plot is that Ozymandias wanted to stop the Cold War, right? Yes. So instead of two countries fighting, he decided to make a giant squid so they would focus on that. Yeah, right? trick uh, the people into thinking that there's an alien invasion. When really it was just nothing. Yeah. It stopped the war. It stopped the war. But yeah. it killed half of New York. Right. Uh, in the movie, I think it was just like a giant bomb that went off in the city. Yeah. Um, so again, it started raining squids. I had no clue what was going on. Uh, also, Robert Redford's the president. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> apparently he's been president for a long time. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Uh, but the quality of the show, I mean, we'll talk about that. It's a really well-made show. It is really good. It's, it's really well-made. It's really well-acted. Uh, the set design, the action, the action is very short. Uh, there's not like it's not like action-packed. It's it's short but sweet. But short but sweet. It's, right. It's really good. Um, so there's been three episodes so far. And you wa you watched. I've watched the first two. Okay, I've watched the third. I've I've watched the the three that they've came out with, and I think they get better as they go along. I really do. I think this, the third episode that they just did was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The first one, again, I was a little mixed on because I, I wasn't really... I, I was on board, but I, I was like, I, I didn't get where they were going with it. It was... The first one was really confusing. Cause it was. Like, it, it, it's a lot of setup. It started with something that's like completely random seemingly. That history channel yeah. part where they're talking about the, the massacre in uh, Tulsa or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, and then it just jumps to present day, and I'm right. like, okay, how is this related? Right. Who's related to this kid? This kid's got to be 100 by Ooh. now. What ki oh, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, and then the cop, the, poli the police chief is driving the night owl yeah, thing, I, I and really I, I, was I was like, is he night owl? And then he, he wasn't, he was just Judd, and I was like, oh, he wasn't night owl. Uh, she had a costume, like the cops are now watchmen. Now all the cops have to wear masks. Right, they have to wear masks. There's it's a, lot a dangerous of world. So, I mean, basically, Watchmen is a very political comic slash movie. It's about the Cold War. It's anti-Vietnam. It's very much, uh, it's a very political thing. Yeah. So now they're modernizing it. They're making it a sequel, and it's basically about white supremacy. Yep. Uh, not basically. It's about white, it white is supremacists. The bad guys are white supremacists. Right. I, I like, I also didn't, I, I, I like that, too, how the... They're wearing the Rorschach. They're, they're yeah. using the Rorschach like book as like their like gospel. Yeah, they have adopted him as the symbol. W when which really, is when really, it's like a lie, basically, right? Is that oh, what they're going for? Because like, I mean, Rorschach wasn't like a white supremacist. Or, or no, anything. that's what I'm saying. Like he was yeah. kind of like the one who discovered the whole plot, and then yeah. he dies in the spoiler. He dies at the end of the. He dies at the end. It was very gruesome, but a really great scene. Right, uh, right. He knew about the lie. He knew about. Ozymandias and lying to everyone and then they were just like nope don't let anyone know and they kill him yeah so they kind of see him as a as a renegade uh, as a symbol so they wear his mask which again I was a little confused by that but I like that how the cops all have to wear masks and um, they have to like allow that their guns yeah. are locked in there and they have to ask for it it's very dystopian future but right now right which makes it 
it, I feel on edge the entire time. Right. It's really interesting. It's really, um, it's it's really well written, really well. And the female character. So I guess you didn't watch the third episode, but the, no. the third episode is essentially about Silk Spectre. Okay. It, not essentially. It's about Silk Spectre. Uh, she's like an FBI agent now, and she hunts down like uh, vigilantes because in the in the uh, vigilantes are outlawed. So mm -hmm. she kind of like tricks vigilantes into. The first scene, you'll, you'll like it. The first scene, there's like a bank robbery and you think she's a villain and then a vigilante comes in and then she goes like, FBI, you're under arrest. And she like <laughs> tricks him into thinking that he's saving the day when really, so it was really good. And she's referencing, she's trying to, they have like a phone booth where you can talk to Dr. Manhattan. It's really, it's really cool. You'll, you'll get into it. I, but cool. I really like the third episode because it focuses a lot more on the Watchmen, the original Watchmen characters. Mm -hmm. um, but there was that great scene. I don't remember if this was in the first or second episode where it cuts back to like the 30s. Yeah, with um, with uh, what's his head? What's Slip his face? Slipknot or Slipknot? Yes. Yeah, is that Slipknot. his name? I think so. I he wears the noose around. He wears his the noose. I think Slipknot it might Slip be from Suicide Squad. No, that's Squad. from Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah. he might be, I think he was Hanged Man or something. Yeah, something like that. It's been that. a little while. But that was really cool. And it like, was it was really, really cool. gory and whatnot, like oddly gory and like. He saves the day, but like <laughs> everyone in that grocery store was like traumatized. <laughs> and they're like, who are you? And he's like, I'm wearing a mask. I don't know who yeah, I am. No, like that was great stuff. And it's, it's um, a really good commentary on modern day superheroes. Because I, I think like the Marvel movies, they kind of comment on that, but not really. They're like, I think Civil War talked about it, how like, Vigilantes aren't all good. They end up killing people in the process. They're they, like they do. They cause a lot of destruction. They cause a lot of destruction, and it's really, it's really interesting how this comments on it. Um, mm -hmm. And again, it, it is really over the head, uh, over the beats, over the head with that the white supremacy stuff. But I, again, that's that's Watchmen for you. So yeah. That's that's what it does. So it's gonna get political. And it's it's gonna, gonna get political. I, I really like it. I really like how they're tying in Adrian Veidt. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy Irons plays an older, much much older, but Cunning and, and witty and smart, Adrian Veidt, which is his his character, and he has like an infinite amount of butlers that he just keeps like killing. Yeah, off. that was <laughs> that was a shocker. Yeah. like you know, you just see like these two butlers. It's like okay, he's he's got some yeah, some butlers, and then yeah. he just brutally, brutally murders yeah, just one. Uh, burns one alive because he's reenacting the birth of Doctor Manhattan as a stage, as like a Shakespearean stage play. It's a, it's a Shakespeare, uh, yeah. Shakespearean p stage play. I'm all yeah. excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is yeah. the, the birth of Dr. Manhattan. You know, this is so play, cool. they're playing the music that they played in the movie. Oh, that's yeah, a good touch. Yeah, in the, in the movie, there's like a whole 10 minute scene of Dr. Manhattan explaining how, he, how he's born. Like, oh, yeah. three days later, I was this. And then when he shows up to Vietnam, it's playing Flight of the Valkyries. Mm -hmm. And then in this, he's reenacting that as a stage play. And he's coming down from the ceiling and they start playing, the guy starts playing Flight of the Valkyries on the violin. So. Some references to the movie, but mostly to the comic book, so. Yep. But uh, I don't know. I mean, do you think that if you didn't read the comic or watch the movie, would you get, would you like it or no? Like, would you be completely <sighs> lost? Because I, I only I saw the movie. I don't think so, because it's, it's a lot of, it's, own it's a lot of information that you kind of have to know to go, right. what's going on. It's like, they're talking about Dr. Manhattan. Who the hell's Dr. You're Manhattan? Right, you right. haven't explained anything. Right. Like, they don't explain. He got made. He's a yeah. blue guy and he hangs Dom. Right, right. They, got, yeah. the, they <laughs> got that part right. I was very happy that they paid homage to the that's Dom right. hang. They, I think that's the one problem I have is that this does not cater to someone who's just going to turn it on. Like, what, yeah. what is this? What is this show? You really need to have either right. watched this. Or at least know about it. You know, like also, I, like this three hour movie. Yeah, movie's long. It's yeah. a long movie. It's a long movie. That's most of Zack Snyder stuff is very, very long and overindulgent and, and the shots are always really dramatic and uh, that's a lot of Zack Snyder stuff. I would recommend watching Watchmen. Obviously, not that many people have like three hours to kill, um, but it, it's a pretty solid movie and I, I again, I like how... I, Kind of like the movie too. I like how it's a play on superheroes. It's a, mm -hmm. it's like a better civil war in my mind. I, I, I shouldn't really be comparing to civil war, but um, it's like a better, um, not better or anything. It's just a really interesting concept. I, yeah. I like the whole thing how it's like a detective noir thing set in like a post superhero world. It's really interesting, and they're kind of doing it again. There was like a, there's a murder in the first episode, and then that's they're trying to figure out who murdered the, the police chief. And so. And also, like, how deep it goes with him, because as we see in the second episode, you know, minor spoilers, he was also a white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. The chief of police, whose best friend is a black woman. Right. She's had, great in it, too. She's so good. She's great. What's her... Uh, I hate how I forget her name. Uh, 
I, I don't know. I don't want to screw up. I'm bad with messing names. up her name, but uh, the main lead in the yeah. show. Uh, I think she was in If Beale Street Could Talk. I think she won an Oscar, but I'm really hope I'm not confusing this actress with somebody else. But she is phenomenal. She's, she's killing she's it. She's killing it. I, I think the whole cast is really good. Uh, mm -hmm. Don Johnson, I know, is the main um, is the police chief. He's really good. Um, he was good. he was very good. What's his name? <laughs> uh, the guy who has the mirror on his face. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know who he is. I haven't even seen his face. He oh, he shows up. Uh, that actor shows up in. He's in Holes. He's a he's a character actor. He was in the he was in. Um, he was that dude in Holes. He was Mom in Holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such a different change. Yeah. He used to be Mom. Now he's a guy yeah. who puts people in a pod. He puts them in a pod and figures out they're racist. Them. Yeah. And he was in the Coen Brothers movie, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. He was Buster Scruggs. He's very much a character actor. He shows up in a lot of things, but he's never like the lead in anything. But mm -hmm. he's really good too. I like that Russian guy. Yeah. The Red Scare, I think, is his name. He's great. Um, there's a lot of good, uh, and again, the, the, the Rob, Robert. I mean, I, I really hope Robert Redford shows up as the president. I don't know why he's the president. Did they reference that in the comic? Uh, I don't, I don't I remember don't them referencing. So. That I don't movie. remember. I guess he just got elected after that, and now he's president for life, apparently. That's, yeah, 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 he's just like the, still the president. And then she was like, I grew up in Vietnam, the 51st state. And I was like, what? I was like, Vietnam's a state now? Did they reference that in the movie? I don't, I don't remember. I guess, they took, I guess we took Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam's like a state. And she's like, I grew up in Vietnam, like the state of Vietnam. And I was like, what? But um, so, yeah, maybe, maybe read a, if you don't want to watch the movie or read a comic, maybe just... Excuse me, watch like a recap or a Wikipedia. I'm sure there's a recap on, oh, there's on YouTube. Oh, there's definitely a recap. It's like, this the same problem happened with like Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, God. I wanted to play Kingdom Hearts 3. I got Kingdom Hearts 3, but I haven't played any other Kingdom Hearts. So I had no clue what was going on at all. I, I spent like four hours in one night just watching the cutscenes from one of the mm -hmm. in-between movie, from one of the in-between games. The games, yeah. Yeah, and it was like so painful and right. I love so Kingdom I, Hearts. I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't like that with this Watchmen show and I, I didn't like that with Kingdom Hearts. I don't like when you're coming back to something that hasn't been talked about for a few years. Yeah. Like you expect new people to come. I think you should kind of cater to both. I, obviously it's hard to, especially, with, I mean, we're getting off topic, but especially with Kingdom Hearts, there's like 35 games. There, there's <laughs> like 35 games, and they were like, okay, here's Kingdom Hearts 1, here's Kingdom Hearts 2. By the way, there was a there's game a in between that there's you don't know that. about. Uh, oh, did you have a DS? If you didn't have a DS, you had to play two games You have on to the play DS. across like yeah. four different companies' yeah, consoles. Yeah, yeah, right. If you, if you had a PSP, a DS, uh, you, you PS1, need a PS1, uh, Xbox. an Xbox One, an Xbox 3. If you didn't play all of them, you're lost. And I think Watchmen kind of has the same problem for me, mm -hmm. is that... It, it doesn't cater. It, it's not like there's been other Watchmen stuff. Like, I feel like you could easily, not easily, but I feel like you could spend a little bit more time explaining what's going on. I mean, the squid stuff, 100%, I had no clue what, what that yeah. was. Um, there's, a lot of, there, there's a lot of just references that they just talk about that I don't know what they're talking about. Um, yeah. but I'm, I'm going to say, if you, if you want to try it, either yeah. watch a recap, yeah. watch the movie, or read the comic. They're all great choices. Right. But uh, I think we have to take a break right now. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back with more after this. <laughs> They'll see you before you see them. Cops are cracking down on drinking and driving. Drive sober or get pulled over. Welcome back, and we're back. We are we back. Are back. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Batman casting now. Yeah. So we talked about Joker last week, and uh, did you see Joker? You weren't on the show last week. No, I haven't had a chance yet. Oof. Yeah. I know, I really yeah. want to. Um, I think it's going to get a billion dollars. I yeah. think it's close to it. So that's I better, really I better cool. go contribute then. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. It's a rated R movie. It's really cool. But um, yeah, so they announced... I don't know how long, a while ago, that Robert Pattinson is going to be Batman. I was initially a little skeptical because I was like, oh, the Twilight dude. Well, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about this. But then my, my friend was like, okay, wait. He go is a watch, good actor, yeah. Go watch some movies he's been right. in since Twilight. What have you seen? Did you see Good Time? It was, well, what was the one where he, it's him and his uh, mentally disabled brother. Good Time. Yeah, Good Time. Good Time. He, good Time is great. Uh, and it's, they're going to be directing Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler, which I'm really excited for. Uh, the Lighthouse just came out with Robert Pattinson, 
Uh, they're talking Oscar nom for him. He's a really good actor, but he's in, been in a lot of indie stuff lately. So yeah. it's going to be cool. Um, who is uh, Catwoman? Um, but they got a... I should have brought up my phone. It, uh, it, it, they, it was a singer they got for Catwoman? I, sh I should have... You know what? I'm just going to take my phone out. Uh, it's <laughs> on my mic. Um, Paul Dano is Riddler. Yeah. I love Paul Dano. He's in There Will Be Blood and uh, Swiss Army Man. <laughs> so I... Yeah, there they are. So Andy Serkis is uh, Alfred. Colin Farrell is Penguin. Um, they almost apparently had Jonah Hill for Penguin. Jonah Hill is Penguin. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that one. Uh, Look, you know, like Jonah Hill would have to get fat for Penguin, and I hate it when Jonah Hill has to get fat for movies. I just, I love seeing him skinny because it makes yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, ah, he's taking care of himself. Zoe Kravitz is going to be Catwoman. Okay. I don't know much about Zoe Kravitz. I'm sure she's a fine actress. I don't. I don't really know I'm, much. I'm, I'm not really familiar yeah, with her myself. Yeah, neither am I. But uh, hey, you know, I'm sure it's a great. I love Paul Dano. So. Who was it that wanted to be uh, Catwoman? I think it was Nicki Minaj. Seriously? She was requesting it. <laughs> uh, oh, I think that was nah, basically I'm everyone good, else's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I think Zoe Kravitz is probably better than her. Uh, so, I, I have you heard about what they're doing with? this movie, like what they're, they're no, thinking about No, I've, I've not. So Matt Reeves is the director. I think he did the newer Planet of the Apes movies, okay. which are pretty solid movies, mm -hmm. I'd say. Um, he wants to do a detective like crime drama, like not really like The Dark Knight where it's like a heist movie, because Dark Knight's essentially just like a cops and robbers thing. Yeah. Uh, he wants to do like a detective movie, like a noir movie. Yeah. And he also wants to have the villains kind of like the cartoon and the Arkham video games, he wants to have them like pre-established already. Okay. He just wants to jump you into the world. You know, already, I'm, I'm... Which I am down for that. I'm so down for that because we've had like a million origin movies. A million origin movies? I know the yeah. origins of every super villain right. and I don't care. Right. Even if you... Eat, like nobody cares, but like even if you like the Riddler, nobody cares about his origin. Like No, it's cares? like I want you to like set up little riddles and right. be like really funny and just hold your it. cane. Just, just and jump right in. So it's really cool because the... The cartoon, the animated series, is actually really oh, good. Oh, incredible! Um, and then the Arkham video games, are, I guess, are kind of sequels to those to those cartoons. They're essentially all they're are. they're it's like the same similar. voice actors. It's the same yeah. stuff. So um, that's really cool. How he's just here's the world, here's the comic book world, and he's gonna do his own plot in that world. I'm fine with that because I hate. We don't need more Batman set up. Like we don't yeah. need it. Like even in Batman vs Superman, he's an older Batman. We still got the the Martha and Thomas Wayne death again. I've seen <laughs> those old people those die. Old, those old so those old boomers. Those <laughs> damn boomers. I've watched them die fifty times. Well, spoiler alert. You know, for Joker, <laughs> you're gonna see it again. <laughs> oh, I heard. I heard. It's like you know. I'm just gonna say you know, like Spider-Man did it right. Don't show me Uncle don't Ben show dying. Uncle ben. I don't. Right. I've seen it enough times. Right. I care. Please but I don't, don't care. show. If they show Martha Wayne. Dying with the pearls. With the pearls, going all because over the floor. Because capitalism, I, or I, wherever that, I don't even know what that means. They, they're coming. Literally, I was sitting in the theater for Joker, and I was, I was liking it. And I see the marquee for the movie theater, and it says Mask of Zorro. And I'm like, I'm like, are you kidding me? We're doing this again? Like, why? That, I, I don't need that. So no kid Bruce Wayne, no him falling down the well. Let's just start it. Let's just. Let's just. Let's Batman's just do it. Batman. Yeah. The Joker's out there somewhere. Yeah, he's Penguin out there. Penguin isn't Danny DeVito, right. but that's okay. It's I guess. fine. It's, it's, fine. it's Colin Farrell, which Colin he's a great Farrell. actor too. He was in The Lobster. And, that was uh, a good. Uh, I love The Lobster. And he was in The Killing of the Sacred Deer, which is also really good. And uh, he's been in a bunch of things. I like him. But Paul Dano is probably. He's a really good actor. Uh, Love and Mercy was great, where he played as uh, Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Mm -hmm. I'd definitely check that movie out. And There Will Be Blood, of course, is great. Um, and Robert Pattinson. So I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm really interested. No Zack Snyder. And they're not tying it into the Zack Snyder stuff. They're just doing their own thing. I'm fine with that. We also haven't really had a detective Batman right, movie. And, right. you know, Batman's whole thing is he's the world's greatest detective. Right. He does he's his never, detective work. Ba in Batman vs Superman, he's the most clueless person I've ever seen in my life. He's just kind of like, I'm going to get a gun. Yeah. And I'm a, this is Batman now, <laughs> bitches. He literally Superman goes up to him at the end. He's like, you, you don't understand, Batman. He's like, I do. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> you literally don't. So we're excited for that. Yeah. I'm excited for that. And I uh, guess we're going to move on now. We're going to be talking about uh, El Camino. El Camino, the Breaking Bad sequel is finally Bad here. Sequel, epilogue, Netflix thing. 
very secretive release. I yeah. One trailer, and then it just came out. Yeah. Um, what did you think of it? Uh, so I just watched it last night, so it's still pretty fresh on my mind. I personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was... Um, it, it did a lot of things for me that I really needed. It showed me, you know, Jesse after what he did. It showed me the effect of being held captive and being tortured had on him. Um, just gave us a few scenes with him with that uh, other guy who held him captive. What was his Todd, name? Todd. Todd, Todd who's who just like old. <laughs> a psychopath, yeah. but the nicest yeah. psychopath yeah, no, you're going to meet. Yeah. Um, I didn't like it at all. At all? No, no. it didn't really do much for me. I, I like the... Okay, so Breaking Bad is probably one of my favorite TV shows of all time. It's a great I, TV show. I watched it twice. Um, it's great. It, it's good for... Uh, people talk about it for a reason. Yeah. Um, but I thought the ending was perfect. The and ending... Yeah, no, the ending... The yeah. ending shows Jesse driving off. His father figure is gone now, but he kind of made his own, and he leaves, and I thought that was great. And then it's like... He's back now. I didn't know that the cops wanted him. The whole movie is essentially about the cops trying to look for him, and yeah. I didn't know that they wanted him. And then this movie ends essentially the same way that the the it, show ended. That was something that <laughs> I <laughs> where he I'll just drives admit. off again, and I was it's like, just oh, him driving off and like being <laughs> happy the in the same car. Shot like I was. I was like, that's weird. So now he's got Spoiler a haircut. Alert, that's how the movie ends. Um, it's on Netflix, so I, I do have to say the end of that movie had this weird feeling where I'm like. I'm going to move to Alaska, change my name, just start I, fresh. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I just, I think I had, like, two good moments. And I, I, the one where Skinny Pete is like, you're my hero, bro. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. Thumbs up. And then Robert Forster, rest in peace. Um, he is the guy who you, you would pay to drive you to Alaska. He kind of, like, swindles Jesse. and He's pretending who, he doesn't know him. And this really good scene where Jesse is actually acting like Jesse, where he's like, yo, bro, you didn't call the cops, and that then the cop pulls like up behind him. <laughs> that was a great scene. That was such a good scene. Other than that, nothing happened. The plot is, I have to find the money, and then he spends 30 minutes in that apartment with the, cop, with the cops, the fake cops. I thought that was a really with good scene, though, because it, it started off like very powerful. Like I'm going to cut to the point where... He's hiding, and the cop finds him, and it goes to that, I thought it was a beautiful shot of just him in the darkness. You just see the barrel of the gun, right. and he's like, I'm oh, not right. a the cop camera, killer. Like, the, the camera like dollies in. It and he's dollies like, in. Right, right. He's in the dark. Right. He's like, I'm not a cop killer. Don't make me do this. Right. Um, but it's okay, because they weren't cops. They weren't cops. They were... They were other bad guys. What, were they neo-Nazis? They were, they were, if they weren't neo-Nazis, they worked with the they, neo-Nazis. They were, close with them. they were close with them. They were close oh, with them, so he no, decided he, he to... He worked uh, for like a... He worked for the company that like made the cage. That he, he made was in, right? the cage that held Jesse. That's so he I had don't know. he had <laughs> so, he had some aggression towards that guy what that I'm not gonna disagree with because yeah. he was held in a cage. Right. I, how do you call that company up? Like, hey, we need a like. How do you make that company? Like, hey, do you have any cages? Yeah. All right, we're gonna dig a hole. I want you to throw that cage in there. I think it's kind of just like I need a cage. You got an extra 10k? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I, I like so. There's like a weird Mexican standoff at the ending. Uh, between the guy and he's literally like, he, he was you like, let's do money? this like cowboys. Let's yeah. do a Mexican Santa. I'm like, they never. Did I don't think. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think they're gonna do this. But uh, I mean, he's laughing at him because he's got a little 22. Right. And we all know he's got the revolver. And I'm right. like, oh, he's gonna pull this on him. He's gonna. I just, mm. it just not. It didn't do it for me. It just, I did. It didn't ruin it. Like, it wasn't bad. It was. It was well made. It just. I thought more could have happened or you didn't need to do it at all. I, I didn't really think this was needed. There was, there was definitely a few things that I wasn't crazy about. I think the first thing that definitely pissed me off, it, it was early on, it, it was like the only thing that pissed me off, but it was, you know, uh, Skinny Pete's like, maybe don't shave, maybe, you know, keep a low profile, and don't do this. And he immediately and shaves like, his great. head <laughs> and shaves into a mustache. And, and I'm like, you're doing the Walter White look. You're, you're trying right. to be Walter White. Jesse, I don't think he would have done you, that. Did he you was like so that, sick of that it. That Walter White scene, the flashback, because I didn't. Um, Where he goes. It was they're they're just in the thing, and he's like, "Go to school." Go to school, Jesse. And you then should. the scene ended, and I was like, "Oh, cool." Yeah, yeah. Brian Cranston clearly has a bald cap. It was very obvious <laughs> he had a bald cap on. <laughs> I will give them credit; they got the hair follicle. You know what? You know what good, was terrible was though. Obvious. This is supposed to be the day after the finale, which the finale was six years ago. Yeah. They all look six years older. 
So Todd well, especially is time like, has this funny thing of happening. This I know that, TV. but it's supposed to be a day after, and Todd is like, Todd in the show is like thirty pounds, and then this movie he's like, he's like, yeah, Jesse, come with me. He's like a hundred. He's like, he looks like fat, and uh, Skinny Pete just looks old. Like they all just look so old that it's like, wow, Walter died yesterday. It's like what? You don't look the same. You don't well, look you know like why Skinny Pete looks old? Because he did meth. Don't yeah, do meth, don't kids. Don't do meth, kids. Yeah. Right. No, it just. It, it didn't do it for me, and I, I thought it was a really, really long... It, if this was in the show, this would have been at the bottom of the list of episodes that I like. Okay. This, I, like, I, I don't know, like, this, is, this is like first season stuff. This isn't five and six, this is season one stuff, where I'm like, that was pointless. I like season one, but there's some episodes, and especially in t even two, where nothing happens, and I thought that was this. Nothing happened, nothing happened that we didn't already know. He's sad about... His ex-girlfriend, I knew that. Yeah. He's sad about Walter dying. I kind of knew that from the ending. He wants to move on. I knew that already. This didn't teach me anything. He wants to talk to Barack. He sent the letter. Yeah, this like is I, stuff we knew. Um, but I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. We're gonna, gonna wrap it up. So All right. Well, he liked it. I didn't. But give it a shot. Give I will, it a shot. I will admit it was a little long. A little long, but it's, it's a little on Netflix. Long, but it, so what two you hours. Mean? It's Netflix. You got time. Right. So uh, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. And stay warm. Have a good one. Have a good one.